Hey guys, welcome to Yoga Alicia. I'm Alicia, and today's pose that we're going to work on is tree pose for Kasana. So grab your mat, let's get going. Okay, so first thing, if you um, have a really hard time with balance, as a lot of us do, myself included, feel free to practice this against the wall while you're starting out, okay? Because nothing's more discouraging than like falling over a million times while you're trying to figure out your proper alignment. So use the wall if you need to. Um, modify, modify, modify. There's lots of different options with tree pose. Um, so let's just go ahead and get so it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, we're going to begin in Tadasana Mountain Pose. If you have not already watched, um, I did a video on Mountain Pose, so you might want to just check that out for a quick little recap. Um, but we're really lengthening here in the entire body. So again, finding the four corners of the feet, rooting into your mat, um, and finding a sense of balance just right here, just between your left and your right foot, right? So trying to find where you have equal disbursement of weight, and then lifting through the crown of the head, rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears, making sure that we're not ducktailing our tailbone out, right? Keeping a nice straight spine. And then you can start slow if you want. So just let's go ahead and start to shift our weight over into our left leg and really engage the left leg. Pull the kneecap up, tighten, tighten in the quadricep, and then find your balance right here before you even bring this foot off the ground. Just have all of your weight over here. Keep your toe down a little bit to keep yourself steady until you feel like, okay, I've really kind of got this. And then you can just slowly bring your leg up. So making sure that we're still staying lifted in the chest because if you bend over to grab that, that knee or that leg, that's when you start to like, ah, oh, okay, I'm off now. So staying lifted in the chest, keeping that spine really straight, it's going to help, help you find balance. And pick a point either in front of you or like down on the ground, maybe like four or five feet in front of you um, to focus on and let that be your spot where you're like, okay, I'm going to look. So kind of like if you've ever done dance, you know, when you do like a pirouette, you pick that spot and you spot. So we're going to do that here with these balancing postures as well. So bringing the foot up, you can kind of pull it in, feel your balance here. And then when you're ready, taking the foot, I'm falling over, to the inside of the thigh, and then here, like, check in with your body. So I just, I let my hips go back, which is why I started falling a little bit. So keeping your hips tucked under, like, reaching your tailbone down to the floor is actually going to help you with your balance. I have really flat feet, so balance is pretty difficult for me. But we're going to get through this, so let's do it together. A um, couple no-nos real quick. Before we go any further, make sure that you keep your standing foot facing forward. So if we, some, you know, sometimes it feels a little easier to balance if we turn out or if you have done dance, turning the foot out sometimes feels a little bit more natural. But then um, our knee and our hip are going to be misaligned and we can cause injury there. Another thing to avoid is putting the foot directly on the knee. Okay, so even though it looks like it's kind of like a little puzzle piece and it fits, it's, we don't want to put pressure on our joints. That's not, that's not what we do in yoga. So, um, you can bring your foot up to your thigh, or you can just leave it down here on the shin, or even lower, just right here on the ankle. Wherever your body is telling you, okay, this is what feels good for me, this is my limit, and that could be different from day to day too. So, don't be hard on yourself. Just come to wherever you feel comfortable and then check in so your hands can be at heart center. You can have them resting right on your hips. Just make sure your shoulders are down and away from your ears. Your tummy is nice and tight. 
you're lengthening that tailbone to the floor, reaching the crown of the head up. So we're a tree. So we're rooting down into the ground with our foot. That's our roots. And then our branches can grow nice and tall. Oh, I'm falling. Um, another thing here is wherever your foot is, create this uh, this opposite energy, right? So you're pressing your foot maybe into your thigh, and then with your thigh, you're pressing back into your foot. Same thing if you've got it on the lower leg. You want to create this, um, this opposition that's going to help you find stability in the posture also. Kind of like we do with dancer when you go into dancer pose. You know, you push against your hand and you pull. So <clears throat> doing that kind of helps you find stability. Um, another point to make... Oh, my leg is starting to burn. So we'll switch sides. Um, and then I'll continue on the other side. So coming on to my right leg now, I'm going to find my balance here. I'm going to bring my hands to heart center. Lengthen my tailbone to the floor. Lengthen through the crown of my head. And then just gently start to bring my foot up. I can reach down and help it out. And then creating that opposing energy and then last but not least we want to take this knee and make sure that it's turned out okay that is the very last point that we're making and it's heart or head over heart over hips triple h okay and then if you want bring the arms up find your stability whatever feels good for you today and then you can fall out of it like i just did or you can go ahead and bring it back, bring the leg back forward, and then go ahead and step it down. Um, like I said, I don't have the best balance. Sometimes um, pregnancy can affect the arches of our feet, and that affects our balance. So for me personally, balance is something I struggle with on and off the mat. But anyways, tree pose is um, a really, really common pose. You'll find it in the majority of classes that you might go to at any kind of studio. We're strengthening the thighs, the calves, the ankles, the spine. We're stretching in the groin, right? Because we're pulling that knee out. We're stretching in the chest and the shoulders. We're working on our balance. And this is a really good pose for sciatica and for the flat feet that I was just talking about. It helps reduce flat feet too. So really anytime we're working on balancing postures and there's a whole bunch of cool little like foot exercises you can do to help the flat feet too. Um, I may actually make that a video later. So, um, lots and lots of benefits to doing tree pose. And plus, once you get into it and you find that stability, it feels pretty awesome um, to find stillness in these balancing poses. A couple of other cautions, um, low blood pressure, insomnia, and headache. Um, those are cautions to doing tree pose. If you have high blood pressure, don't bring your arms up. You can leave them here or leave them on your hips, but for high blood pressure, we do not raise the arms overhead. That's it, guys. That is tree pose. It's pretty simple, but it might take a little bit of practice if balance is something that you struggle with like I do. But thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please comment. And please, please, please subscribe. And there will be lots more to come. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. Namaste.